All right, so uh, we get a lot of emails, people asking us exactly how can they do um, what we showed in the last video, but do it remotely on the mobile format. So I'm going to show you today what's needed to do a mobile or mobile online radio station. Um, a lot of people call it an industry remote. Uh, you can do something where with this unit, you can take it and have your full studio, but have it outside of your studio. So you can do something like, you know, go to an event and broadcast live from an event. You can go to a, um, a business, place of business, broadcast live. I'm telling you, this is an excellent way to build your brand for your online radio station, especially in your community. You get a lot more listens this way. So I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do it. What I'm going to show you right now is going to give you the feel that you want as far as your listeners online. It's going to give you the functionality that you need so when you're live somewhere outside your studio, you'll set your studio feel um, and you're not going to lose quality. So no matter, people won't know if you're in a studio or if you're outside a studio. Only way they'll be able to tell is they'll hear background noise, but which is cool. That's called the Jones Effect. Different video. All right, let me show you what you're going to need to be able to do this. All right, first thing you're going to need is the online radio mobile PC. All right, this right here is literally everything you would have in your studio, but in a mobile format. So this will have, uh, you know, everything as far as your commercials on it, your station IDs, your music. Um, it has a decent hard drive, so you basically can take your whole library from your um, studio and put it into your mobile PC. So now, when you're broadcasting remotely, you can control your station and your music and your whole rotation, all that stuff, right from your mobile radio station um, PC. All right, this right here is, it has everything you would need on it. Um, I like this one, me personally, because it has a lot of features that makes it easy. You know, when you sit in the, doing a remote, um, you got to pay attention to the people around you because they're asking you questions. But you also got to make sure you can, you know, make sure your station, you know, is functioning and going the way you want it. So I like it because it has a lot of cool features such as, you know, you got your main mouse pad. That's cool, but I like this, this thing about this one. In the middle of this uh, key, I got like a little, uh, I don't know what they call these things. But like a little uh, mouse thing where it moves your arrow back and forth, and then you also have the clickers right here. So no matter which, whichever one is more comfortable for you, you can um, use it. It also has the um, fingerprint, finger sensor um, thing. So you know when you're logging in, you don't have to worry about putting your password in. You just swipe your finger. So I, I like it, you know where people can't just uh, come up and you know get on your stuff. But um, but also has the crucial crucial USB ports. Uh, I believe this one has a total of four. Yeah. So you got four or more here, so you can actually uh, hook up external drives, but it also has a memory card reader. So if, you, if you're if you like me, where you like to, um, you don't want to carry out a whole bunch of hard drives, you don't want to walk around with a whole bunch of that, um, you can do like the small SD cards. Um, they come up to like 128 gigs now. And you can take your SD card, put it in here, and add 128 gigs of music to your station. So that works if you're a station that does different programming, that you may do hip hop, you may do country, you may do gospel, you may do jazz. That works really good because no matter what event you're at, if you got your little small SD card, you can just have all that music on there. And now when you get on location on your remote, you just pop the SD card in and you got all the music for that, um, I guess, that type of event you're at. So now you can broadcast that type of music. Now I'm just trying to help you expand your, um, you know, your reach as far as your online radio station. Um, that's the main brains. If you got this part right here, what I'm going to show you right now, you can change up however you want. These are just some recommendations, just the basics to get you started. The next thing you're going to need is a decent microphone. You want to get a really good studio mic. Um, that way when you're out and about on, on location, doing a remote, it won't sound like... Um, the worst thing in the world is when you do a remote is that you don't maintain your, your quality you had in your studio. That's your brand. So you want to have a good microphone. This right here is a um, professional studio mic, a large diaphragm, so it gives a lot of, a lot of voice through it. Um, it comes with a windscreen. So, you know, if you're out and about, let's like say if you're out... Uh, outside broadcasting, you put the windscreen on. So that way when you're talking, you won't have the um, that wind going through your microphone. So you'd be like, well, you know, people know what I'm talking about, that wind sound. This takes away the wind sound. So this this comes with this microphone though. Um, and if you get if you get this right here, you know, you can start off with one if you're, if you're doing it by yourself. I recommend getting two of these though. That way you can interview people once they're there. Um, you get them sit down and, and interview them. Make them feel like a big shot, you know. And also, this mic, the gold tip mic, is, I like this one because it's good for um, when you're out broadcasting. People see the gold mic, it make, brings people to your table wherever you're broadcasting from, and I uh, get the conversation going, bring awareness, take some of your items off your table, business cards, whatever. All right, next thing you're gonna need is a mixer. Now, this again is a is a portable mixer. Um, it's a, I think it's a six channel, six to eight channel. You got two XLRs on it, so you can do two of these studio mics like this, but it also has uh, 
more quarter inch inputs. Uh, you can actually with this one, what I tell people, if you're doing like an event where it's a live concert and you're broadcasting live from, you can basically have your microphones in here for your studio, your, your regular radio station mics, but then you can run a line in from the main house mixer. So then when you want to, for example, um, broadcast the actual live event or the event, the concert live on your station, you can basically go from your mics that you're talking and your program music to your live feed right from your mixer. So this right here is... Now you can you can get whatever kind you want if you want a bigger mixer if you got more some um, I know some of you guys online radio station have more um, DJs that are there that may be talking at once so you may want to get a bigger mixer but this is what I recommend um, to get you started uh, this right here when we got to do a remote this is all we pack this fits in one laptop bag and I don't have to carry a whole bunch of equipment all I do is take the uh, online um, the radio mobile PC. Um, I take the mic and I take this mixer and I put it all in one laptop bag and it's not like a big bag and that's literally all I carry. So when I walk in there I just basically need to know where we can plug up and where we can set up. Also, the um, only thing you need with this too is just make sure you have internet access wherever you're going. It is, does have Wi-Fi so if you know, a person gives you access to the Wi-Fi you can jump on the Wi-Fi um, or if you want you can always do a hardwire Ethernet. A lot of times now people are using like the T-Mobile Sprint um, hotspots and uh, I think Clear. Um, I think, matter of fact, Sprint was brought by Clear, so it's probably Sprint now. But if you have one of those, that's even better. If you have one of those in your possession, it'll also fit in your laptop bag. But what it allows you to do is now you can do remotes outside where you may not have access to Internet. Uh, because I know these mobile spots are basically have really strong signals in any major city across the nation. So now you can start doing some stuff like, you know, the big boys do. All right. Now, I'll tell you this, you will get a lot of business only because the big boys charge for remotes between five to ten thousand um, dollars, obviously between two to ten thousand, depending on what, how big the station is, to come out and do a remote. You'll get a lot more business because you won't charge that much and you won't need as much um, you know, space or equipment. Um, this whole thing, I'm going to put a link in the bottom of this video because this whole system right, this whole kit right here, um, you can get this for as much as people are paying for a laptop. So that's that's really, I'm, I'm going to put a link there and show you where you can get it. Where it comes with the, the uh, online uh, radio, mobile PC, the microphone, and the mixer all together in one kit. And I promise you, when you see how cheap the, we're getting these for, um, you, you'll probably get it because it's, it's, it's a lot cheaper than probably going into a Best Buy getting a laptop. So, um, But I'll put a link into that. Also, if you guys seen the other videos, you'll see... Um, some other links to other things we may use. You can use this mobile PC with a docking station that I showed in the last video. Um, so if you want to have your, your hard drives, you can. But again, because it has an SD card slot, it's really irrelevant to do that because you can just drop all your music on the SD card. All right. Um, I think that's everything. So I'll put the links in the bottom of the video. And if you got any questions, feel free to comment, um, share it, you know, whatever. And uh, I'll try to get back to you and let you know. But this is this is all you need for your online uh, radio station if you want to be mobile that's it and you still can have your main station running back at the studio and you can basically uh, use this right here that's a whole other video maybe I'll do that and tell you how you can connect it to alright thanks guys for watching again comment uh, questions below like the video share it alright talk to you soon